Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about using how to make a meme command. Now this is going to be using a meme API that I found online. Now first let's talk about how this works. And we're going to use our good old friend Paint. This is our bot. And we want to add a meme command. So now the best way to do this is by using an API. The bot will ask the API server, hey, I want a meme. And the server will respond with a JSON. So first, let's take a look at how we're going to do this. So, if we go over to here, the meme pair we're going to be using, we can take a look at this API link. So if you click on this, it'll open in a new tab. It'll respond with, as you can see, a JSON, and then the URL of the meme. So if you open that up in a new tab, you can see there's a meme. To get this all to work, we're going to be using something called Node Fetch. Node fetch can um, can fetch or load a JSON file from a website. So what we need to do is first install it. Okay, so you want to do this. You want to run npm install node dash fetch dash dash save. The dash dash save is optional, but if you have a package at JSON, it'll be helpful to add it as a dependency. Now I want to load the and configure the module. So with this snippet of code that it gives you, you can just copy that and put it right up there. All right, so now that we have that there, let's take a look at some usage. We can get, right here you have JSON. This will tell you how to fetch a JSON. So let's start making the command. If command equal 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 uh, mean then you first want to say, say we're, that we're fetching the meme, so you know that, because it takes a bit of time for it to actually get the meme. So let's first send a message saying message channel dot send fetching the meme, fetching a meme. Please wait a second. So I'm going to put this into a variable. So let msg equal await. All right, so now that we have that, let's actually take a look at the usage. So right here, we can just copy this and paste it right after. And let's just format that correctly so it looks nice. And we want to change the link. Let's change this link to this link. So we just have to do is copy the link address and then paste it right there. So now we have the link. Now let's take a look. Right here is where we have the JSON. Uh, so we want to take this JSON and throw it into a function. So we just do that. And then all we can, uh, now what we can do is we just uh, let's take a look at the, an example response right here. So you have the post link, subreddit, title, and URL. So the URL is the meme image, and the post link is like the link to the Reddit page. Subreddit is the subreddit, and the title is the title. So let's make an embed with all this information. Let embed. We go new discord dot rich embed and I set the title to whatever the title of this is so we can do json dot title and then we want to set the description or set the image to the URL so just json dot URL as you can see right here URL is the image because it's a PNG so that's now we, we want to put the link in the subreddit in the footer. So you just have to set footer. Um, I'm going to use these things. And then we want to do link colon and then dollar sign. And then print, uh, this is then uh, you want to make it so it's JSON dot, dot post link. And then have something separating it. And then we can have a. Subreddit. Okay, so now you want to have a subreddit. So you should draw a sign. Um, oh my god. Okay, there we go. And then you want to put uh, JSON dot subreddit. That's the right thing. Let's, let's take a look. Yep, subreddit. So now you want to edit the message that says this. So we should do message dot edit. And then embed. And that's it. So we can go test this out real quick. So we want to hit type node dot. 
Now if we do meme, say fetching a meme, please wait one second. Right here. It has it so we need it. Link and then it has a separate. It. And if you do it again. Right here. So that's pretty much it. You can use this method for almost any API. You, you might need to change around like the json.post link and stuff like that to match your API. But you can do a lot of things with APIs. You can have, let's say, like, list APIs. You can have a weather API. Um, here's a list of APIs you can have. Cat facts. You can order a pizza. Um, you can search images. Pretty much a lot of stuff you can do with APIs that um, so pretty much you can use this for any API, any API you want. Some APIs require you to do a post. This is just to get. So this won't work with certain APIs, but it should work with most of them that that where you get information. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.